Hey friends, this is Crystal with Booth Crush. Welcome or welcome back, whether you are new or returning. We share business resources, tips and tricks for booth and store owners. We also have a blog, a Facebook page, a Facebook group. You can find us on Instagram and Pinterest. So come join us. Happy St. Patrick's Day, friends. So today's video is going to be about ideas for portable walls. Now, spring is here and people are going to be ready to do those outdoor events like those pop-up shops, barn sales, craft shows. And sometimes people just need ideas on how to have a divider or even to hang things. So I have some ideas for you. And we did a blog post on this probably about six or seven years ago, and it's one of our most popular blogs. So I did an update and I just thought, let's do a video this time. And also we have some video footage from Timeless Treasures Antique Mall in Oxford, Alabama at the end of this video. I thought I had enough to do an entire video for them, but I ended up losing some of that footage, but I was able to save some of it. So that's at the end. And it's always a great idea to grab an email address from your customers, even if it's in your booth or an outdoor event. So I whipped up this handy dandy little guest list for you. It's a freebie. It's over on the blog. You can go and grab it. You know, an email list is a great way to stay in touch with your customers and let them know if you have something available that they're looking for. And then I have this more elegant junking list if you want to call it that it's over on the website if you want to purchase it and then also i wanted to share a clip that i did from 2019 at an antique store it's probably the most inexpensive way to put a divider up but now you can't hang things from this idea but still i wanted to share it good morning junkers i just wanted to let everybody see this great idea for a divider wall in an antique booth this is a drop cloth it is attached to like a two by four, and you can see it up there, which is attached to a chain from the ceiling. So for those of you that can't put a wall up permanently, this is kind of a, an inexpensive way to define your space from your neighbor. This dealer hasn't moved in yet. This is at Feathers and Twigs in Carrollton, Georgia. And look at this great light she's got up here. I have to turn it on. Ooh, it's bright. That was such a clever idea. This is such a neat old space up here. It used to be a Chanel bread factory. So the floors are real hardwood. You have exposed brick. And then over here she has like a pallet wall. Just thought you guys would find this interesting and helpful. Hope you're having a great Monday. This first idea I can't really show because it's not my video, but I did find it on YouTube. It's a brilliant idea. I'm going to link the video down below so you guys can go and watch that video, but this is a great idea. This man takes a piece of lattice and turns it sideways, and then he takes S hooks and attaches them to the tent bar at the top. And so that's how the lattice hangs, but you could also take smaller S hooks and then hang your picture frames on. So I'll link it down below, go check it out. And then if you're gonna go this route, here are the S hooks you're gonna need. You can see they're quite large, they're six inches. And there's like six or 12 in a pack. I found these on Amazon, I'll link it below. I also found this pegboard bifold door that's six feet tall. You could do jewelry on this. It's on Amazon as well. It comes in white, it also comes in black, and it comes in a natural color. If these aren't to your liking, you could you could spray paint them. I mean, you could do anything with these. And this is the natural colored one. The other two were $110. I think this one has that boho kind of vibe. And I really liked this one. It looks like old shutters hinged together, which gave me another idea. You could take some old shutters and hinge those together and do it yourself. All of these photos that I'm sharing right here are Amazon. I'm going to link everything down below except for this one. This one and the rest of them will not be Amazon. This is a seller on Etsy, and I'll put her link down below. 
And then um, these picket fence panels, this is a great idea. You can get these already like put together, like Home Depot, not Home Depot, this is Ace. They have them on sale right now for $99. And you could put hinges on them so that they create like a two wall effect. And then this one is PVC piping with lattice. And this one is gonna require a lot more skill for woodworking, so if you're not familiar how to do this kind of stuff, you might want to grab someone that is. These are more elaborate. You would definitely need to have some help to, you know, assemble these and take these down. And these look like they would be heavy. And I would only recommend something like this if you were on a con concrete platform or a wood platform. But I still wanted to share. And then I really like this idea with old crates because after you take it down, then you could put your inventory down in the crates. And then I thought this was a cute idea with old screen doors, especially for jewelry, but also for smaller picture frames. And then I really liked this idea with the chicken wire. But I hope this has given you guys some ideas. So now let's take a peek over at Timeless Treasures in Oxford, Alabama. I'll link their um, stuff down below so you can check them out. And hopefully I'll get back over there to do a full video. So thanks a lot, guys. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you in the next one.